1924, but renovated in 2002. There's a look inside Venerable Soldier Field in Chicago. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one between the Jacksonville Jaguars and the Chicago Bears. And he'll get it up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. run past the 30-yard line there. Just what you want on a first down run. Call it eight yards and it's second and two. For Jordan Howard, Charles, last year in 2017, not quite as good as the great rookie year he had in 2016. And a big part of that, very simply, there weren't any playmakers around him to keep defenses back and keep things stretched. He was running into eight and nine-man mm -hmm. boxes on almost every carry. So I thought he had a tremendous year, number six in the league in rushing after being number two a season before. They go with Howard again. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. Five yards is the pickup there as that extends this drive. Another nice run there by Jordan Howard. And, and when we talk about fresh legs, how about 2016? Jordan Howard, the number two rookie rusher. Heck, the number two rusher in the NFL <laughs> behind another rookie, Ezekiel Elliott. In the first three weeks of the season, he only had 12 carries. So once week four hit, we really now, found his groove. Slot man moves right. Here we go, here we go. Ringo, Ringo. Play clock winding Ringo. down. Over, over, over. Now Trubisky on first down. He's going to flip that out to the flat. It's complete. And he will lose yardage back to the 34-yard line. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. Really good defensive effort. They were all over that little swing pass out to the right side before lost yardage. Terrific read, better execution, and done with a lot of enthusiasm, wasn't it? Absolutely. They saw it all the way, ran right, to the football, Green, and caused a nice play for lost yardage. On second down, here's Trubisky. And his throw's going to be incomplete. He was looking for Zach Miller as tight in there. And it'll bring up third down. And the offense looking to pick up the first down after the second down incompletion. And on the outside, they're playing press coverage. They go play action with Trubisky. Buying time to his left. He may try and run for this. Opted to run for it, the decision a good one. Picking up the first, getting 14 yards on the scramble. How many times do we hear that third down may be the most important down in football? And there's no better example than what we just saw right there. Forced to scramble, knows where the first down marker is, dives right, for it, go. and gets it. What a big time play, putting his body on the line to pick up a key first down. The catch is made by Kendall Wright. Touchdown, Chicago! Kendall Wright, 52 yards, and the Bears have taken the early lead. Well, that's how they envisioned it, get the football to start the game and score it. And I don't know if that was scripted, was it an audible, or was it just a play call that they had in their pocket? No matter what, they had the right call on against the right defense, and they end up in the end zone. That time, a six-play drive. And the end result is a Bears touchdown. Santos out now. He'll kick it away. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And he's able to get it across the 20, but not by much, as he's marked down at the 21-yard line. Green 39. Green 39. 
first carry for Leonard Fournette. They find some open field here. And he's taken down, but not before getting this across midfield and just shy of the 40. A big chunk of yardage there, 37 yards. But there's a reason he was the first running back taken. You saw the ability there, the ability to be physical and get downhill. And how about him breaking off a nice gain there? There's some Adrian Peterson comparisons out there now. That's high praise. Do you think that they're warranted? Running style, very similar. They keep it with Fournette on first down. And he's going to get this inside the 30. A 14-yard first down pickup for the Jaguars. And Leonard Fournette impressing there with that run. It's hard to believe that no Jacksonville Jaguar has broken 1,000 yards since Maurice Jones drew in 2011. I think Leonard Fournette could be that guy. Even with the ankle injury last year at LSU, still averaged six and a half yards per carry. And absolutely intimidated opposing defenses. A lot of guys simply didn't want to tackle him. That's going to set him back five yards. First and 15 here behind the chains. Double tight, double tight. We got three. Here we, we go, go now. Three, fellas. We Green, got three. They go play action here on first down. Blitz coming, and down he goes. Danny Trevathan. Coming on the blitz, he gets him for a loss of seven. Well, that play was the very definition of fast, quick, and in a hurry. Suddenly, he was there. In a blink of an eye, that happened fast and a big sack. Here we go. Green, 39. On second down, here's Bortles. And the hookup here to Allen Robinson. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. One thing I can say pretty safely, that route is not called if you don't have a guy who can throw the ball and put some mustard on it. Because if you're going to lollipop it in the middle of the field, bad things usually happen. It takes a strong-armed guy who can rifle it in there, and they were able to successfully single complete receiver, that one. Receiver. Hey, you're on an island over there. Single receiver. Here we go. Blue 45. Blue 45. Hey, 15, 15. On third and long, it's Bortles. And he fires one that's intercepted. Eddie Jackson picks it. And this one will be brought back to the 22. Well, it's third and long, and you've got a few different ways to play it offensively. But this is not the type of offense that's going to wave the white flag. They're going to keep chucking it. And this time, it results in an interception. Chicago's offense getting set to take over. And it's a crew, not only offensively, but defensively, obviously, collectively. The four straight last place finishes. That's what they're facing as they enter 2018. Now, if there's a silver lining, I guess, they did go from three wins to five wins last year. But you're really exciting the fans on that one, aren't you? I was, I was reaching. <laughs> reaching. <laughs> Look, they finished number 10 on defense in the league, which was really somewhat remarkable because they had a number of injuries on all three levels, and somehow they fashioned that together. But Mitchell Trubisky, their rookie quarterback, who played well in spurts, they've got to surround him with talent and a number one receiver. Brandon Gordon, Charles Davis back with you as it's Bears football here to begin quarter number two. They face a second and seven to start things out. Right, right, right. He's tight right here. He's tight on the right. Tight on the right. Set. Green. Tight. From the gun, it's Trubisky. Completion left side to Miller. And this one will go to the 28-yard line. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. I think it's okay there. They didn't get a whole lot on that play, but it's nice to have a safety valve that's built like this guy. Big target, guy you can spot pretty easily. Put it on him when your other targets aren't open. From the gun on third down, it's Trubisky. Jaguar pressure and a Jaguar sack. Miles Jack. In there to drop him for a loss of 10. And it'll be fourth and long. Now, we talk about players blitzing all the time. 
I often laugh and sometimes call it just straight-ahead pursuit. What a running start right back to the backfield for him. Yeah, it really didn't give anybody a chance to get up there and stop him. No, I mean, that's really, really difficult. You're asking a whole lot anyway, but when he gets that kind of a start and comes through clean, oftentimes the advantage definitely goes to the defensive player. Well, he wasn't too far from breaking that. Officially, give him 15, and the Jaguars go on offense first down and 10. Jags taking over on offense here in a second. And what a season, Charles, it was for Jacksonville. Some people did like them as a dark horse coming into the year, and they really responded. Heard recently at one of the, you know, all-star games, college all-star games, a scout saying, well, heck, haven't they been the dark horse for the last five years coming into the season? And he seemed a little bit bitter, so I'm going to let him go on that one. But the point is well taken. They have been building towards this. Really good drafts really supplemented in free agency and yeah they were a dark horse but they played awfully well 11 wins two more in the playoffs i think right now they'd love to get Allen robinson back at wide receiver and add another playmaking tight end and the play goes nowhere losing yardage back near the 40 at the 39. Every year I go to the combine and marvel at the speeds that linebackers are running nowadays. They run like DBs. And let's face it, they know how to finish plays, too. Eyes up, head up, run right through them. Here we go. Green, 90. Green, 90. Now Bortles throwing on second down. Caught out left side by Robinson. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this into enemy territory across the 40. A good pick up there at 22. First down carry. And he's going to fight his way four yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Partner, I think from our experience together, we have learned that most offensive coordinators are going to tell you, if I'm going to run the football on first down, I've got to get at least four yards. They got five here. They've got to feel pretty good about that one. They'll run it again with Fournette. No dice this go around. He's hit behind the line and taken down. They'll wind up losing three. And now it's third down. I think there's one element that just keeps increasing on defense in the NFL, and that's speed. They want it at every position. And we just saw there some linebackers who can go sideline to sideline, run past that trash, go past people, and make tackles near the sidelines. And not only near the sideline, but also in the backfield there for the loss. Throwing his Bortles on third down. And he is going to be hit and taken down. Bortles sacked. Eddie Goldman with a big-time sack on third down. And it'll be a loss of seven. Two minutes to play here in the first half. We're back to Soldier Field following this short break. When halftime rolls around in just a bit, we'll send you to Orlando. You will hear the dulcet tones of Mr. Larry Ridley with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Does dulcet mean good? Yeah, it's just something that broadcasters say. It's got to be good, right? Gotta you tell good. me. Well, it's got to be good if Larry's doing it. Trying to get it to Robinson, and it's intercepted. Picked <laughs> off by Prince Amukamara. And a great return as he takes us up just shy of the 45. So that's back-to-back -back drives where they've thrown an interception. Ordinarily, we look at the offense and say, what's going on with your scheme? Maybe we should look at the defense and just give them a whole lot of credit. They've got them frustrated right now. And before the possession switches here, I had written down that I wanted to talk about some of the awards this past season in the NFL. We know Brady was the MVP, but Todd Gurley, Offensive Player of the Year. How about that for a bounce back? Many were questioning whether he'd had a sophomore slump the season before. Didn't even get to 1,000 yards. Was a dominant force in 2017. How about his teammate? Now Trubisky lost the football. And fortunately, he's able to reel it back in, but it's going to go down as a big loss here on the play. Well, that was a big oops right there. But how about his ability to correct it? Loses the football 
able to get it back himself. Now pounced yeah. right back on it, keeps possession. Now Trubisky on third and long. The screen pass here to Cohen. The screen does get him nine, but it also brings up a fourth down. I wonder what was going through his mind when he got the play call. He just got sacked on the previous play. He knows they're coming after him again. A little bit of guts to stand in there, take the hit, and successfully complete the screen pass. Really well done. He gets this one away, and boy, it's another boomer. That'll go as a punt of 34 yards that time. And possession will switch. Hands first and 10. CD, I want to get your thoughts on some potential free agents this offseason before we change the possession here. Now, caution, many of these guys could be resigned, I know, but who are some of them? Kirk Cousins is one. Yeah, we're talking about difference makers. Kirk Cousins at the quarterback position. He's going to be coveted around the league for by quarterback needy teams. Case Keenum had a big year. Could he move? But how about running backs? Le'Veon Bell, Deion Lewis, some pass catchers, Jimmy Graham, Jarvis Landry, Sammy Watkins. And about the guy who goes and gets quarterbacks, Demarcus Lawrence had a monster year for Dallas last season. Yeah, a lot of big names that could be out there as free agents. This team is not going to make it easy for you. They're a physical group, and we just saw it there on that play. They came in, made the contact, just as he's trying to haul it in. On second down, here's Fournette. And he'll fight forward to about the 27-yard line. It's a gain of about three, but it's going to leave him with third and still seven yards to go. Well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. And 4C in completion on first down. Then you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going at the quarterback in the expected Blue passing 45. situation. Blue 45. Bortles now to throw. And Robinson with a big catch. And he takes this one all the way across midfield into enemy territory down to the 40-yard line. So we come upon halftime here at... And okay, so much for our halftime break. Apparently we're going to get right back to it. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. That'll be taken in the end zone. And the decision to come out is going to cost him five as he's taken down right at the 20. Out come the Jaguars now as he'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. They're close, close game, but they're going to need to do a little bit better probably here in half two, no? I would agree with that totally. I would guess it in the locker room. They talked about cleaning up some of the errors. But overall, I think they wanted to be positive with them. Guys, we're right there. Just not playing as well as we need to. Let's pick it up. And we still have a chance to win this game. Yeah, they do. We'll see if they can pick it up. They'll step off the five yards. Yeah, partner, you know. Defensive end, he wants to get into the offensive backfield. He wants that get off to be as fast as possible. A little too quick on that one. Working from the gun, it's Bortles. And he'll go down. The Bears get there for the sack. Jarrell Freeman coming on the blitz. He gets him for a loss of seven. Man, he got in there so quickly, Charles. What could the offense have done to adjust and account for that? But what you're hoping is that you figure out and you see and get a clue that maybe there's going to be some pressure coming at you, and you change the blocking schemes. Maybe you go to max protection. The biggest ones maybe you bring your running back in to try and keep you clean. But in that case, that didn't happen. Zero accountability, and a sack resulted. Big hold of the 30. Middle of the field, it's Robinson. And they're able to get this one across the 35. And the play goes for 19 yards. Gives them a new set of downs. One of the selling points of the in route is it gives the quarterback a really nice sight line to his receiver and almost on a direct shot, able to throw the ball into the middle of the field and have a great chance of success as they did on that play. Here we go now. Green, 90. Green, 90. Bortles on the give to Fournette. And he will lose yardage here to the 31-yard line. And that's going to go as a loss of six, and it'll set him back for second down. And that's another stop for the defense, something we've seen all game long. They have been on fire today. No matter what's called by the offense, they've had an answer for it. Here we go now. Green, 39. Green, 39. 
Bills to throw on second down. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Robinson. And to the 42-yard line here and brought down there. It's a pickup of 12, and that'll set up a third down. One of the feature points of the end route is being able to make a nice throw to the middle part of the field. And for a quarterback, that's one of the better throws and better looks that he'll get. But he has to be careful not to wait too long and let his receiver wander into some tough territory. If he's late with the ball, he can get his receiver hit and hit hard. The Jaguars on third down. Just one for three thus far. This is third and four. Now they run with a backup. It's Chris Ivory. And he'll be taken down at the 46-yard line. Call it a gain of four, but not enough. The punt team going to need to be summoned here on fourth down. Another down on the scoreboard, but the urge to go for it is almost irresistible here on fourth and short. Yeah, I know. I know they're on their own side of the uh, field. I was going to say. Normally, I would say punt the ball away, but I'm feeling it. I say go for it. So in their own territory, but they only need a few inches. So they're going to opt to go for this thing. We'll see. Maybe a surprise pass or run. What will they do? We're about to find out. Fourth down. They'll go with a big back for that. He's got a first down and then some inside the 40. Touchdown, Jaguars. A great play there, 54 yards. And the Jaguars are within an extra point of tying this one up. And on that long run, maybe the defense caught napping a little bit. The concentration level may not have been there. I agree with you on that one because those types of plays, when they result like that, they're almost like big bolts of lightning, aren't they? Whoosh, and off he goes. So a tie ball game here as the kick's away. Fielded about a yard deep. <laughs> and he'll be brought down at the 23, make it the 24-yard line. So here are the Bears now as they get set for their first possession of the second half. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now with the game this close, You've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. 17 yards on the pickup there. The drive will continue. It's a first down. And after that completion, you can understand why so many teams in the league are emphasizing speed on defense at every position. The tight ends have created so many tough matchups now. If you can't run with a tight end as a linebacker, this is going to be the result every time. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. To say they've kept him under wraps running the football, that, that's an understatement. He's been completely neutralized. Yeah, they've essentially taken him out of the game, haven't they? And you know all the teams say, we're not going to let him beat us. Well, that's exactly what's happened here. They've lived up to that. Now Trubisky. Complete to right. And now off to the races, down the right side. And he is in. Touchdown, Chicago. Kendall Wright, two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Bears have taken the lead. I know we often laugh, and sometimes we even exalt the guys who are great trash talkers and give us some really funny lines. But the bottom line is absolute production on the field. His second touchdown of the game, and they lead. And now they'll be looking to their defense to preserve that lead. Well, we looked at each other right away. We knew that flag was coming out. And I always enjoy the conversation post because officials always tell you, I don't want to throw the flag, but you caused the play. You did it. I had to. 
And this will be a touchback as that sails over the inline. Leonard Fournette making his way back out there. He's up over 100 yards, and he'll be looking to get in the end zone again. Has a tremendous nose for it, doesn't he? The ability to pile up yardage and find the end zone, that's the combination you want in your runner. That's yeah, a combination any coach wants, and we'll see if he can find that end zone once more. And this is caught. Mercedes Lewis with a grab. 11 yards there for Jacksonville and a first down as well. They gave up the completion there, but this is what zone defenses count on. Catching the ball and not much run after the catch. On first and ten, here's Bortles. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. Allen Robinson, the intended receiver. And that'll bring up second down. We always talk about receivers. If the ball hits your hand, you're supposed to haul it in. But it is hard to adjust to a pass thrown a little bit behind you. That one was. All the momentum going forward. Couldn't contort his body back to grab it. Second down here after the incomplete pass. They'll try the right side here with Fournette. And unable to get downhill there as he'll take this up to about the 37. One yard, the official pick up there, so it's going to set up third and nine. This is what happens sometimes when you abandon the running game. It's hard to get back to it because once guys get out of that mentality of firing out and hitting people, hard to get them started again occasionally. The Jaguars on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. This is third and nine. Throwing now is Bortles. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Picked off by Prince of Mukamara. And he'll return this ball across midfield to the 47-yard line. Blake Bortles simply cannot keep putting his team, putting his defense in these types of predicaments. He's got to take care of the football. And last season, a lot of the turnovers, just like this one, in Jags territory, 11 of the 16 really put them in a tough spot in plus territory for the opposition. On first down, they run with Howard. Looking to find a lane, but he can't rein in at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. So nothing there, but maybe you blame that on the blocking. Yeah, at some point, you've got to win at the point of attack. And on that play, that was all the defense. They made it happen. Back now at Soldier Field. And on second and ten now. Again, it's Howard. And he'll be taken down right around the 41-yard line. It'll be a gain of seven, and they get it back to a third and three. Got to figure now, after getting that turnover, they're just going to be happy to keep the ball on the ground, right? This is where covering the football, taking care of the ball, all the ball security terms that have ever been used, they come into play for the guys on offense right now. Just take care of it, and they've got a good chance of ending up winning this game. Here's Trubisky to throw. The catch made by Miller. And he takes this one in for a Bears touchdown. Zach Miller, 41 yards. And the Bears capitalize on the fumble and turn it into six. Boy, it's nice to have that big, reliable target you can go to. Each and every time. A lot of people see that position.
position as a fallback. Throw it to them when all else fails? Not at all. This guy can make plays, and that's exactly what he just did. Yeah, play here for a touchdown. It's good, and it is now 21-7. Pretty clean and simple there. Just two plays, the long pass resulting in the touchdown on play number two. Santos out now. He'll kick it away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And in hindsight, probably should have stayed where he was as he'll only get back to the 16-yard line. Out comes the Jaguar offense now as they get set to take over. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack him here. Yeah, give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. Tough running there. That's a hard-earned four yards. Yeah, those are the unsung kind of runs. They don't fill up the stat sheet, but they do set you up in good position on second down. Again, it's Fournette, and maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. And they'll lose a yard that time, and that's going to lead to a third down. Oh, partner, that play brought back memories. Watching them string it out, letting the runner get all the way to the sideline area, but not letting him get out of bounds. They formed that picket fence and didn't allow him through. Not only that, got him for a loss as well here. And one of the reasons they lead in the fourth quarter, plays like that. Yeah, it took a little more time off the clock, making them do it that way, didn't they? The Jaguars on third down. Just one for five to this point. This is third and eight. Here we go. Green, 39. Green, 39. All right, what are you doing, man? What are you doing? Shit. Decline. All right, still third and eight. Let's go. Man, I'm starting to pull off from this nigga. He was scaring me at first. Shit, I've been asking for a video. <laughs> <laughs> hey, did you get the one I tried to send you? Oh, look at that. See, look. Look, look. I had him in what's known as the same flat. Look, now that was the regular defense you're used to, right? Yeah. But look, I clicked onto this nigga here. That's what I'm trying to tell you about the uh, defensive hot route. Look, now he was supposed to blitz, but I made him go in what's, what's called a seam flat, all right? He backed up. Here, watch. See? He's going to drop back. And if you throw it quick over here, he's going to oh, kick it. Look, huh? Look, see? Never get Bank of America. Oh, no, don't worry about it. I never will because no, I already I'm owe them. Never get them because they will close your account without even telling you. Shit, hey, I'm glad they closed mine already because uh, I tried to cash a fraudulent check for 3500 in their establishment. <laughs> no, I mean, they freaking closed my fucking account without telling me. What? Yeah, and I had like $5 left in my account. 
See, them three picks ain't gonna help you, bro. You can't do that, bro. You can't do that in the end. Man. You can score all you want to. You know what I mean? But if you throw kicks, man, I ain't throw no kicks. Yes, you did. You threw three. Oh, I'm saying, yeah, I both do. I don't know what the fuck you're doing. Cash used to do that to a nigga. Yeah, nigga. Yeah, nigga. <laughs> oh, hi. I want to juke your damn son, man. What the fuck? First 15 years old. And that'll be accepted, of course, and that moves him back five. I was gonna come pick it. I didn't think he was gonna throw that bitch. Yeah, it said you got three bits. Tell you, bro, I be knowing what niggas wanna do. You better watch it, dog. Oh, he did get to him. Oh, I thought that was a play action. I was gonna kill that cracker, nigga. Say I will bury it, crack it up. I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, this intensity, usually get better as the game goes on. I just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come run up there. I'm going to tackle this guy. Tell him, man, defense hard. Defense hard. You got to give me that, bro. I don't care if I'm getting lucky on offense, not that D, but that D hard, dog. I'm getting tired of this nigga just running all on my defense, bro. I can tell you that. Oh, damn, he did That was good to use it, man. See, when you play against man to man coverage, you're damn near perfect. But when a nigga start throwing man to man coverage and I zone a nigga in that area for you to throw those kind of routes, you throw picks a lot. You gotta learn, learn like what it looks like when I do that, man. Cause, Cause you keep walking right into it. So why you got them three picks now? It's a good game, though, bro. The boys are. If we throw them three picks, we're gonna win. Realize that, right? Like that one pick, you was on the goal line. Did you know that? Yeah. He was on the goal line when you threw that one pick. Then you you got to stop that shit. Bro. You can't lose money because you was being greedy or stupid. <laughs> You got left. Bless 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 you. Bless you. I hope you know they ain't giving me really nothing but run players. So what that means is, bless you. They want me to run their clock out. That's what they want me to do, man. They want me to be a coach. That's what a coach is, though, you know what I mean, man? You come in here sidestepping me like, like I'm a regular nigga, nigga. I'm a coach over here, nigga. I'm Belichick, nigga. Yeah, it don't matter if you call a timeout or not, man. Get it! 
Yeah. I forgot what did Howard go. Oh shit, I'm tripping. I just called for the time. Lord knows. Let's see, when I play niggas and I be blowing them out, bro. I pick any play that I've never picked before. Just so that when I play a nigga, <laughs> I got more than just 20 plays. Man, I got like 100 plays. I, man, I call every play in the playbook. I damn near don't call the same play twice, I ain't I be balling, man. You gotta, you gotta start picking different plays. You can't keep picking the same shit. <laughs> You pick the same shit, it'd be easy for a nigga to think all he gotta do, like niggas like you, when you wanna go deep, really you do this. Or you'll do this with him. That's no threat. Or you'll do this. That's no threat. I zone it over. I didn't have to! Now the Bears will use their third and final timeouts. The two teams talking over on their respective sidelines. We take a break. Why you gonna do that? Why you gonna do that? And he gets us an all-day game target. Just shy of the ten. That nigga, damn it! Every time he touched the ball, he almost had a first down. But you tripping? But you tripping? All right, we back here. Saying bro, you can't throw picks all early. You tripping, bro? You can't do that shit. You was just playing shutdown defense. I couldn't score. I had to punt the ball twice early in the game, bro. Come on, man. Get your, you get your head in the game, bro. Tell you, bro, I'm liking them bears, nigga. Straight up. Them bears is gangster, nigga. Gangster with these bears, nigga. Man, where the orange? Tell me, bro, I'm deadly, man. You don't fuck me, dead. When I catch a nigga snoozing, bro, I make him pay for it. <laughs> hey, boy, shit. You gotta watch it, dog, playing me, my nigga. Cause you fuck up, I'm gonna make you wish you didn't fuck up. Push that. Tell you, bro, you don't see how, look, the, the games really be evenly matched. And sooner or later, here you go throwing the picks. But early in the game, you got the ball back. You made me punt it back, even though I got a pick. So, but still, though, you, you better not throw the picks. Because you're supposed to score. Fuck throwing the picks. Are you tripping? For real, my dog. Can't do it like that, man. You really saw your mistake, though. If there's a nigga there, bro, you're better off clicking the right stick, push it all the way down, throw the ball. Away. Don't throw a pick. Really. Don't throw no pick, son. Throw anything but a pick, man. Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to one of our favorite spots, Venerable Soldier Field in Chicago. 
Coming up, we've got a good matchup on tap between the Pittsburgh Steelers and the Chicago Bears. This is field at the goal line. Come on! No, I didn't mean it! This one all the way onto the other side of the field. That's a nice ass run, though. Look at all that, see? Don't believe that fuck shit now! Stop running for yards. When, when, look, I'm, look, look, I'll show you. Oh, look, yeah. No, it's, I think it's him. Yeah, it's him. I realized when I could hit him. Hold on. Hold on. How do I get up high? Yeah. Now, what? Let me show you. Now, him and his boy are going to come, and it's going to be one nigga. Here's when I realize, yo, he's gonna come open. He's gonna be open. I just gotta wait till he gets past this thing here. Look, I knew it. Bop. 
I read the zone, bro. You gotta read that shit. That's a thing of beauty. That ain't no lie, bro. Let me see. Man, bro. <laughs> You gotta read his own, bruh. Try to read his own. Once you see a nigga doing this, now you know they in zone. There's not too many kinds of zone. Most zones, they just back straight up. So it's easy for you to realize, oh, this guy crossing across the field, he'll be open in the hot seat. No. Yeah. That was smart. I knew he was going to juke. I wasn't going to beat him. I was going to be the nigga behind. Mm. You lucky that some bitch didn't bumble. That was the fullback. You better watch it, dog. That was the fullback. That wasn't Le'Veon Bell, man. They, they, that motherfucker yeah, dropped it. Oh, hold on. Oh, all right. You better hold on. I told y'all about that shit. Don't even fumble. I tried to hit stick that song, but you lucky they made me do that gay shit. Cause I hit the hit stick, I can promise you that. I hit that shit. I tried to get that song just to business. Straight up. No, he waited too late. Cover sack. Hey, what's up, what's up? This is what happens when you get behind the chains and people like to say when you have obvious passing situations, it's hard to bury it up and full of defense. And you hate those situations if you're an O-line, but right now, you just know they're coming and you never know exactly what's going to be exotic in their places. You're a freak out of the position to take over. He's moving for a Oh, L2? Yeah. Told you that shit works. You're giving us better position. Make him put out the football, but in this case, make him put out the man was all the difference. That's what forced the incompletion. Now a high kick here until trying to hang it up there. And take it right at the. Oh shit! Yeah, I don't know just how game that throw don't shoot. Oh, hell no. God damn, hold on, I gotta put that up there. Oh, Lord. Oh, I gotta put that up 